So thank you all so much for that warm welcome. Thank you even more for welcoming me into the family. You know how much that means to me. So first of all today, I really just want to ask you to leave everything outside this room, outside this room. I know that you probably had some difficulty getting here. We had canceled flights, delayed flights. I know someone got a boot put on their car when they arrived in Nashville. You probably have family issues back home. We've all got aging family members, got people that we're worried about. But I want you to do exactly like my husband says. He always says, be where your feet are. If you're at home with your family, be at home with your family and don't worry about work. And if you're at work, do the right thing and do your job and don't worry about anything else outside. Today, your feet are in this room. Please just be with us, grow with us, learn with us over the next day and a half. And I can assure you, you will never, ever regret it. The other thing that I would like for you to do is I would love for you to use your journals and go to the back page of your journal. You are going to use that to write down names of people that pop into your head throughout the weekend. You never want to leave your better future to your memory. You're going to think of someone as soon as we launch this new product and you're going to think, oh, I've got to call them. And then you're going to forget. Or you're going to think, I know I wanted to reach out to them about something, but I don't remember what it is. So you're going to write their name. And then what made you think of them? Because when you reach out to them, you can honestly and truthfully say, I was at this incredible event this weekend with some raspy voice goober speaking on stage. And I thought of you, probably not that, maybe don't do that. But I thought of you because we launched this new product and it does a lot of amazing things. You thought I was gonna mess up there, didn't you? Okay, so I'm hoping today that I can help Everyone in this room, take a step toward, you know, what they've always wanted to do. They can dream bigger. They can be greater, right? But can I get your help? I'm sorry. Uh, You know, things don't always go the same way. Can you please help me get that off? Thanks. (laughs) Appreciate it. I appreciate you so much. Isn't that sometimes you just need help getting the lid off, right? And that's my job here today, is to help you take the lid off. Take the lid off of your potential. Take the lid off of whatever is blinding out your vision, whatever is capping your belief. That's my job here today. And it is a glorious, honestly, uh, like it's stressful because I wanna make sure that I do this justice. I wanna make sure that when you leave here this weekend, you can go out and you can conquer the world. You can do everything that you've always dreamed of doing. But at my first convention, uh, we had no idea what we were doing. Honestly, my husband only came because I was dragging him, kicking and screaming. And he found out that we were gonna be, you know, in Dallas in a hotel room without our kids. So that's the only reason he came. And we had no idea what to expect. So we didn't come to an event like this with a giant vision of what this was going to do for our lives. We just thought it would be a really fun weekend away from our beautiful children. And maybe we'd learn a few things. We love, we've always loved leadership and things like that. That weekend though, I don't remember really anything that was said. But I remember that there were great speakers that made me feel good. I remember that there was an electricity in the air. And I bet some of you have already felt that today. Like the feeling of being around your family, being around your friends, looking all of these people. You know, we've got a magazine that all of these fancy pants are in every month. Doesn't it feel like you get to convention and it's like a walking magazine? You're like, oh, they're famous. I've got to take a selfie with them. So that is really what I remember. But what I remember in addition to that was Daniel and I came in and we sat in the very back row all alone. We didn't know anyone. We didn't know why we were there. But from the back row in that building, I started hearing them talk about, you know, when we get to the first 200 diamonds, we're going to do something really special. And I thought, man, I want to be that. I heard them, I vividly remember them announcing this trip to Italy and Greece. And I was like, man, I would love to do that. So I 
almost started believing that, that that was possible, right? But I thought, I don't know, I'm brand new. That's probably only for the, the fancy people. So I didn't, I didn't know what they were talking about. But what I did know is that by the end of that weekend, I was a different person. I completely looked at everything differently because I couldn't unhear what I heard. I couldn't unsee what I saw. I couldn't unlearn what I learned. And once you know something and learn something, you can't go back from that. Otherwise, you're neglecting an opportunity. A calling has been put on your life and you're just gonna say, no thanks God, I appreciate it. Like that was nice of you to put that in front of me, but I'm gonna completely be disobedient to that. It just, you can't do it. And I sat in here and my lid was lifted. I knew that there was more to life than I had been doing. I knew that I had more potential inside me. But when I left, I was so nervous. My skin was crawling. I didn't know if it was excitement or nerves. I didn't know if I was gonna vomit or if I was gonna call everyone that I knew. But I was so nervous. I just thought, I'm gonna have to do something that I've never done before because I had never called my shot. But we're on our way home and my hands are shaking and I get my phone out and I wrote our five diamond leader, the equivalent of a five diamond leader and said, hey, my name's Ashley Peebles. You don't know me at all, but we're gonna do this and we're gonna do this big and you're gonna know my name. I don't, what was I thinking? That's the dumbest thing I'd ever done in my life. I was so nervous. I dropped the phone in my lap after that and I just wanted to vomit because I thought now I've got to do it. Like, what does that mean? And now I've got to grow a lot to be able to grow this business. Now I've got to shed all that fear. I've got to shed all that doubt. There's so much that goes into it. But I realized when I dropped that phone, that my lid was not just lifted, it was gone. And I could never go back. Like I knew I was gonna have to do something which made me nauseous, but I also was most scared that I had learned everything I needed to know that weekend and I was still gonna fail. I was nervous that I wouldn't have the excuse of not knowing what to do. And that is not gonna be your excuse after this weekend either. We're gonna show you exactly how to build this business so that when you leave, you'll just have to say, you know what? I don't want it that much. I know exactly how to do it, but I don't want to. That is the way I felt. I knew that I was gonna have to believe in myself as much as I believed in this company that I was a part of. And believing in myself was way harder than believing in the company. So. I am, maybe you are like me and you're in the back row today and you're just hoping that this is the opportunity. You're just praying that this is the year that things change. Or maybe this is your eighth convention because I've been there too. And you're thinking, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like I plateaued. Um, I don't know if it was just a fluke. Wherever you are today, I hope that you will allow yourself to fall. Fall in love with Neolife again. Let your lid lift. Because for some of you in this room today, this is going to change your life. For some of you in this room today, this is the start of everything or it's the restart of everything for you. That day in that Fort Worth Convention Center in Dallas, my life changed and it's never looked the same. I'm living proof that back road dreams can come true. So no matter where you are today, some of you are broke and broken. And I know what that's like. I know what it's like to not know how you're gonna pay the bills. I know exactly what it's like to want to give your kids everything in the world, but your bank account is not allowing it. What we want you to do today is we want you to remember those struggles and remember those problems, but we want you to dream bigger than your bank account. We want you to know that whatever your past is like, no matter who you are or where you're from, that's just a landmark. All of your struggles, those are just waypoints in the road of getting you where you're meant to be. 
You'll be able to look back and be like, do you remember when I got that boot put on my car when I arrived in Nashville and I had to pay $95 to get that thing off and I didn't have $95? You're going to be able to point to it and say, look at that and look at where I am today if you just let yourself fall. You know, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, out of a mountain of despair, a stone of hope. You're all holding a stone of hope in your hands today, even if it feels like you're up against a mountain of despair. There's a lot of hurt in our world right now. There's so many people that should be in this room, but they couldn't afford to get here today. I'm so thankful that you knew you couldn't afford not to be here today. This is where dreams begin. This is where they start to light up in your life. So this weekend, I want you to listen for the stories of success. And I want you to think, if they can do it, I can do it, right? Not in one of those ways like, well, that goober can do it, I can do it. But if they can do it, you can do it. Because if it's been done before, then it can happen again. But here's what I want to show you. So I believe that God puts something magical in all of us. I believe that we all have unique talents. I believe that we all have unique gifts. And over time... The world just pours a whole bunch of gunk in us, right? And whether we know it or not, we allow that negativity to be spoken over our life. We allow our light to be drowned out. Whether it's self-doubt, whether it's excuses, no matter what it is, we allow ourselves to get filled up with all of this gunk. And sometimes we just need to take the lid off and we need to release all of that. Like we need to get rid of all of the excuses. We need to get rid of everything that's holding us back from fulfilling our potential. Because that gift that God gave you is unique to you and it's in there and he meant for us to use it. He meant for us to let our light shine, not hide it. He meant us for more. So I'll ask you this today. If you know what all of these things are and you're pouring them out, and you're going through it this weekend and you're thinking, I think I can do this. I believe this is something that I can do. Then you're going to start to flourish. You're gonna start to see, and you're gonna see your light is gonna start to shine brighter when you're here. Because if I know anything about this industry, It's that all of the women and men in this room will pour more light into you than you could ever imagine. I'm a better mother, a better spouse, a better friend, a better Christian because of people like you pouring into my life. But before they could pour into my life, before you could pour into my life, I had to get rid of a whole lot. So figure out what that is that's holding you back that is keeping the lid on everything. And you've got to decide today what your gifts are, what you're going to do and be that. Work like crazy until you have achieved what you want to achieve. You're going to shine brighter because you're here. But let me tell you this quote. It says, there's no passion to be found in playing small, in settling for a life less than the one you're capable of living. Nelson Mandela, less than the life you're capable of living. Some of you out there know you're living a life less than you're capable of living. So let me tell you about what I see for Neolife. I see a massive wave of momentum. You're going to hear from someone in just a minute that's going to point out everything that's happening right now. A massive wave of momentum is coming. So you can ride that puppy all the way to your dreams or you can sit up on your board and watch everyone else's dreams come true. You can watch it crash into the shore and you not be a part of it. You can be a part of something that I've actually been a part of. When I first got started in this industry, no one knew the name of the company I was with. I would tell them, they'd say, what's that? By the end of our time there, everyone knew the name. We were on commercials. We were on NASCAR cars. We were everywhere that people were calling me. Won't that be great? When everyone knows what we have here and they're calling you, that will be fantastic. That is a great day. I will tell you, we are going to have a hundred North American president's team members. 
We're going to have a thousand world team members, not just a hundred. We're going to walk the beaches of the world together, which has always been written on my heart. We're going to walk the beaches of the world together, and we're going to change lives together. We are going to recruit more people in one day than we generally right now recruit in a month. We are gonna share this opportunity with people all over the globe and we are gonna show them the glory of God through us. This opportunity is a gateway and a doorway to do just that. We're gonna end the trend of poor health and financial insecurity for anyone that wants it. I'm not speaking out of faith. I'm speaking out of truth because I have seen it happen. I've seen it go from what is that to being a household name? But in order for Neolife to be the household name that I know it can be, it's gonna take all of us. It's gonna take all of us working together, one team, one mind, one mission. So today we're gonna to do something that I hope is gonna set you free, but it's gonna require your participation. And I know some of you are not like participating kind, but you're gonna be the silly ones if you don't, if you're still sitting down. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start at 10 and I'm gonna count down to one because I did not come here today all nervous. I didn't sleep one wink last night because of this talk right here to see you all sitting in your seats, letting your dreams pass you by. So I'm gonna count down from 10 to one. And by the time I get to one, I want you all on your feet. I want you high-fiving the people next to you. I want you chest bumping your bros. I want you to be hugging your sisters because we are family and we are gonna do this together. So 10, is there anyone in this room that is ready for some change in their life? Stand up if you are. Stand up if you're going to be on the world team in 2023. All right, number eight. Scream if you're going to be one of the first 50 president's team members in America. Oh, no. Give me a shout if you're going to be on world team vacation 2023. <laughs> Is anyone sick and tired of being sick and tired? And you want to help other people feel that way too? I love the chest bumps. Way to go, guys. Stand up if you want to punch fear in the face and take control of your life again. We are in control. Raise your hand if you can see 600 of your team members filling this room. Amen. All right. Who's feeling their lids start to lift, right? Who's dreaming bigger? Are you shining brighter? Who can see Neolife being a billion dollar company? Yes. And finally, number one, who believes they're here for a bigger purpose? All of us, right? When your lid comes off this weekend, it's not gonna be me that lifts your lid. It's gonna be all of these incredible stories that are gonna be shared with you. But when your lid comes off this weekend, you'll never forget it. It'll also never fit back on. You're never gonna forget it. You're always gonna know right where you were sitting, right where you were standing when it happened. And you're gonna be able to point back to this moment and say, that was it. That was the day. Everything changed and my life has never been the same since.